Imagine being on a whaling boat in the mid-18th century off the coast of New England. With endless long days at sea and a pile of leftover bone from the latest catch, a creative sailor might amuse himself by polishing up some of that material and etching pictures into it with a knife or needle. After rubbing a little soot or gunpowder mixed with whale oil into the carved lines, the sailor had a lovely piece of scrimshaw to take back home. This technique was very popular until the demise of whaling, when scrimshaw nearly became a lost art. Today I'm going to demonstrate an eco-friendly way for a modern young scrimshander to experience this traditional all-American craft. This is Yupo, a polypropylene sheet that has a smooth white surface. This is what we'll be etching into, but it's a good idea to practice first. Using a metal scratch art tool, I can create stipple, contour, and crosshatch lines. It's difficult to see exactly what I've etched until we rub some oil pastel into the lines. Once I have the technique, I'm ready to begin. I created a drawing with soft graphite pencil and will etch directly on top of it. It's best to keep the design simple at first because lines can always be added but it's difficult to subtract them. When my etching is complete, I'll erase the pencil lines and begin filling my lines with color. Traditional scrimshaw was limited to black and dark brown colors, but I have a range of oil pastels to choose from. I can layer two or three colors together and selectively apply them to areas of the design. I'll use a paper towel to remove any excess color and an eraser to bring back some white highlights. Here's the finished look. Traditional scrimshaw was almost always produced as functional art. The whalers made jewelry pieces, knife and tool handles, and decorative details for containers in which they kept their personal belongings, known as a ditty box. A scrimshaw engraving can also be displayed in a mat designed with shells, pebbles, sand, and other nautical items. For complete instructions, a materials list, and the National Standards for Visual Arts, please visit dickblick.com.